What's up, boys and girls? We are back with Motivation Monday, and I'm Vince Del Monte. If you missed last week's video, I mentioned that I'm down in Florida right now. We are in uh, sunny Florida, St. Pete's, uh, my wife and baby, and we are escaping the winter cold, and I thought the backyard here would be a nice backdrop for our themes here. So, got a great question I think a lot of you can relate to, and this question is from uh, Cody. Cody Moxley, he wants to know what are some good mindset tips to prepare you for something you know you have to do but are nervous about or don't think you will enjoy doing. So uh, this is great and I think um, the first thing we all want to understand is that uh, this is good. This is good if you're, if, if you're experiencing a, a bit of nervousness. It means you're about to do something outside of your comfort zone. And when you get outside your comfort zone, that's when good things happen. That's when change occurs. Remember, your body doesn't want to change. Your body, your mind, everything you do is designed to stay the same. So whenever you're trying to move forward, there's going to be resistance. So if you feel that resistance, if you feel that nervousness, that's normal. And you should actually pat, you should actually pat yourself on the back because you're about to get out of where you are and you're about to move to where you want to be. So I think the big thing here, when you have to do something you know you need to do, but you know you might not enjoy doing it, you've got to have some blood in the game. And we talked about this a couple videos ago and I talked about the importance of recognizing your pains and your pleasures. What is the benefit of doing what you're about to do? What is the end outcome? What, have you, what does that look like? Do you have a, a clear picture of what that will look like after you achieve it? So if it's in the gym, you know, those last few reps where you're struggling and you're dying and you want to put the weight down, do you understand that doing those extra few reps is going to help you look like the guy on the cover of the magazine that you've been, you know, dying to look like for such a long time? You know what I'm saying? And what's the cost? So that's the pain. What's the cost of not, you know, let's stay on that gym metaphor there. Um, what's the cost of not going after those final few reps, right? Well, you're going to look the same. Are you okay with that? Are you okay looking the same next week and next month and going into the room and not getting any attention and not getting recognized and having guys ask you, do you work out when you've actually been working out five days a week for the last five years? That's the cost. That's the pain. So you have to recognize your pains and you have to recognize your pleasures and you have to know what's at stake and those things, I'll be honest, most people are mo mo more motivated by pain than they are by pleasure. And uh, most people take action when they're in a lot of pain. So um, I think you just need to really get clear on what those things are in association to the thing. You didn't tell me the thing that it, you, you know you need to do. Um, but that's really what gets me driven. I mean, I'll give you guys a really real example. You know, I'm about being real. I'm about, I'm about, I'm about being honest. But you know, there's periods. You know, I've been shooting YouTube videos. Let's just go to me personally. YouTube videos for six, seven years. Do you think I'm always motivated to get on camera and film for you guys? I'm serious. Do you think I'm always like pumped up to do it? There's certain days where I'm just not motivated. I'm like, I don't want to get on camera. Uh, you know, I, I self-doubt myself. I wonder if I've got something really good to say or if, you know, am I going to get criticized or, you know, and there's certain times where I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to skip this month's, of you, this month's worth of YouTube videos and uh, they, they'll, they'll be okay. But you know what? I put a commitment out there to you guys to put out videos on a regular basis. I put a mission out there to help a million skinny guys by the year 2020. And by setting those goals and by putting that out there, I now have to stay accountable to that and I have to do it. So I've kind of created a cause that's greater than myself. And, you know, because I'm serving others and I'm trying to help other people, that gets me in this seat in front of the camera to film videos for you guys. So um, that's kind of like a personal example for me. So I think you just really have to understand why you're doing what you're doing and, and have something at stake. And hopefully what you're doing goes beyond your own personal um, interests. And it's something that's greater than yourself. And I think that's what's really going to help you, um, you know, get your butt out of the seat and do that thing that you need to do, even though you know you might not enjoy it. All right, guys, I think that's a wrap. Uh, you know, the take home message there for you guys is just to really recognize your pains and your pleasures. Understand how important it is to know what those things are for you so that you can take action every single day so that you can man up and so that you can go achieve your goals. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, feel free to do so. I'd love to have you as a regular viewer here and we'll talk to you guys soon.